Well, hello everyone. What is going on? It is the Almighty Jeff, and we are here with episode 17 of Grand Theft Auto Vice City. In the previous episode, we completed the mission rub out for Diaz, even though it wasn't really for Diaz because we ended up killing him. Uh, we took control of his mansion, therefore making it the Vasetti mansion. We did the vigilante job, which is the final job in the game, and we finished up on the rampages. Now, we've got quite a lot I want to get into this episode, so I'm not. I'll get into all the what's going on today, business, um, during the mission. So we're going to fire up a shakedown. Oh, we got to redecorate this place. We got to make it look older. I can't stand this look. Tommy, what do you say? What do you say we put a bar in the... You're my lawyer, Rosenberg, not my interior decorator. Got it? Listen to me. The time to take over this town is now. It's all out there waiting for us. We need to start seizing territory. Let Vice City know we're the new players in town. You know what I'm saying? What you need is a legitimate front, Tommy. Real estate. It's never done me no harm. We need to start using some muscle. Or we can kiss all that hard work goodbye. Local business know Diaz is dead, and they're refusing to pay protection. Oh, we could try bribery. Bribery? Screw bribery. I'll show you how to make them scared. I'll be back here in five minutes. Ooh. Okay. So we need to get to the North Point Mall, do I hit and run of the shop windows? Alright, that's fine. Five minutes to smash the mall, so yeah, <laughs> exactly as he said. Alright, so getting into what we are going to do today, there are three things that I want to get done, two of which are intrinsically linked. And the first one is to do this shakedown mission, obviously. Um, that's going to be the last official mission that we're going to do for a little while. Um, which this mission actually unlocks all of the purchasable business properties, so all, all the ones we've got so far are all the safe houses basically. The other properties are all for certain businesses where you do certain business missions for them. And um, I want to get all the missions for the film studio done today, there are four of them. And in doing so, we will end up finishing off the stunt jumps, so that's the third thing that's intrinsically linked. We need to purchase that lot and complete its missions to finish that up. But if we can get that all done today, which is the plan, then all will be well. I believe all these place, all of these are in the actual mall, so we need to head in here. Okie doke. Alright. Oh. Don't make me run. Why is it? <laughs> Alright, you're right away. Unless you want to get shot. Dude. Move out the way. Leave me alone, mister. Yep. There we go. Finally. Jesus. Okay. Come on! I run this town now. Me. Yeah, me. All right. Starts to take a while to destroy these windows. I don't know why. Come on. Oh my god. Can we? <laughs> what the hell? Why is it taking so long? My livelihood destroyed. Persetti, remember the name. Sod it. Go over this, we're running out of time. <laughs> I was a bit wary of doing that because of the fact that it would probably increase the notoriety like, significantly. 
We don't really have an alternative at this point. I really think there must be some mistake. Oh, yeah, sorry, honey. I'm oh. Alright, alright, whoa. Okay, doke. I've heard it all before, pal. Okay, that's gonna cause issues. Leave me alone, mister. Okay, I think that does it. Yep, there we go. That's the end of the mission, and we can now buy property in certain areas of the map. Absolutely freaking beautiful. Yep, greenhouse pickup, just like the safe houses were. Obviously, they were red previously because we couldn't buy them. So inside the pickup, the press L1 to purchase that property again, exactly the same as safe houses. But I guess this is assuming you've never bought a pro any sort of property before, so. Because he doesn't actually force you to, does it? Why do I still have notoriety? And they're shooting at me as well. Wow, okay. Harsh. Alright. Okay. Whoa. Where's. Can't find the exit. <laughs> um, Alright, guys. I'm going to do a cut here anyway because this first mission is best to do with a helicopter. So I'm going to grab one of those as well and I shall see you guys once we're ready. We got a phone call, guys. Howdy, son. Just thought I'd ring you up and give you some advice. Hey, Avery, what's eating you? There's a lot of opportunity in this town if you own the right real estate. You catch my drift? I reckon so. All I'm saying is to keep your eyes open, and you might find the perfect business opportunity. I'll catch you later. Later, Avery. All right, back to the cup. We got another phone call. Get to the payphone at the airport terminal. <laughs> Alright, well there's the next assassination mission. Everyone's calling me now. Alright, back to the cup. Alright guys, here we are. Uh, this is the property we want to get. I can get the camera right. Um, it is on Prawn Island. It's the only thing that's on there. It's Prawn Island, isn't it? It's not like Starfish Island. I know there are two different ones I always get mixed up. Um, it's on the northern one, basically. You remember um, the building across the street is where we did that um, assault on the building of the guy who used to work for Diaz. Um, so let us purchase the film studios for 60k, which is no problem. Alrighty, which opens up the assets and also opens up the gate for us to do stunt jumps. Well, the stunt jump that's here should be so desire. But seeing as I want to keep hold of the heli at the moment, uh, we'll do the missions first and do the stunt jump at the end of the episode. So without further ado, let's fire the first mission, which is recruitment drive. Action. Whoa! Now that's big. Twelve inches. That is regulation, baby. <laughs> Cut! Who is this idiot? You! You! Why are you in my space? Why? What is all this crap? Aliens! Hey, baby, fishing are... poles! Who's ever seen a shark that big? All this stuff's gotta go! Why'd you get in this business, you prick? Huh? For the pussy. That's why. What is this? This is my art. Security! Look, you pompous asshole. I own you now. I own all of this. We're gonna turn this place around. I'm gonna make you rich. Uh, you're, you, you're Tommy Vassetti, but I thought that you were... That's right. We're gonna be making some changes around here and start making some real money. Actually, have you ever thought about, um... But first, we're gonna need some good-looking bras. Yeah, girls are fine, but you... What's that guy think this is? Some fruity art crap? Jeez, like anyone ever watched movies about fish? <laughs> Alright, Kenny Sims would be perfect for a starring role. Okay, so I think you can tell what sort of studios this is and what kind of mo movies they're making. Give you a clue, it's not the next bloody Star Wars film or something like that. Even though this is in the 80s, which you know Star Wars is actually still going on at this point. Well, it still is going on, but I mean it had already started by this point. Clearly they're not working on... This would have been Turn of the Jedi by the time this one comes out. By the time of, of the setting, so I think this is set in 84. So I believe that's between. Oh sh shit. 
<laughs> that was a mistake. <laughs> Alright, well. Yep. Yeah, that happened. <laughs> okay, well. We're a bit at our target anyway, so that's fine. <laughs> Alright. Here's Candy. Looks like she has been with Congressman Shrub again. Yo, Candy! I'm looking for movie talent. You interested? Sure. But you'd have to talk to my agent. The hell are you doing? You should have stayed at home today. Yeah, Can you believe this I asshole? Guess. Oh, you must not in trouble now. Uh-huh. You think I was scared of using this? Oh. Oops. Big mistake. Come on, man. I got a whole lot of Control yourself. There we go. <laughs> Alright, Chris is averted, let's go and pick up candy. Alright, you, get in. Come on. Beep beep, time's a wasting. Oh, for goodness sake, alright. I'll walk into Come the marker. On, let's go. Yep, get in. Take candy with you to meet up with Mercedes. Oh, there's Mercedes. Mercedes is in the Colonel's daughter. That's a wise idea, isn't it? Uh, where is she? Alright, well, I'll do a cut and I'll see you guys when we get her. Alright, here we go. I don't know why it's probably a bad idea to bring one of those out. Hey, Mercedes. Hey, Tommy. You want a party? Not now, sweets. You interested in doing some movies? Of course, as long as it's cheap and sleazy. <laughs> you're hired. Get in. <laughs> Alright, let's take these back to meet Steve. Go on, you two. Hey, Tommy. Coming in for a warm up? Maybe later, babe. Uh huh. You go and do your business. Alright, we got some actresses. Whoa! Cool shark. <laughs> Alright, and there we go. That's the first mission of the four done. For a thousand dollars. Very good. Now, should we be expecting a phone call? I believe we should be, but maybe not. Okay. Oh. You did what? Tommy. Tony. Obviously, you are suffering from hearing problems, so I'll try again. Where's the goddamn money? Where's the goddamn stuff? And where's my gun? Are you new action? You are making an idiot out of me, Tommy, and I'm not laughing yet. Okay, a bit of aggression there from Sonny Ferrelli. Well, you know, he'll, he'll get his, just like Diaz. Alright, let's fire up the second mission of the four, which is Dildo Dodo. How's filming going, Steve? Well, Candy is a natural. And that new girl, she's insatiable. She went through half the cast and crew before I even took a light reading. Anyway, hey, tomorrow we're going on location to shoot the boat scenes. Boat scenes? What boat scenes? The fishermen are in the throes of passion when the giant shark comes in. What'd I say about the giant shark? <sighs> I said, no giant shark, all right? Just keep the cameras pointed at the poon tag. Okay, okay. Hey, Tommy, you guys got to try, right? You get those flyers printed up? Yeah, but nobody's gonna let us distribute those things. I mean, they're just too, uh, they're unimaginative. You don't worry about that. I've got my own ideas for distribution. Okay. Hey, Candy, uh, in my trailer. Okay, there is a seaplane that was used as a prop in some old indie film around the back of a studio. Okie doke. Use it to distribute the flies around town. Okie doke. That's fine. Oh. So, yep, yeah, so this is... A well, this is a seaplane, basically. Um, but obviously we can fly it. It is the Dodo, with a bit of an upgrade from GTA 3. You can actually fly it this time, apparently. Um, it's still tricky. I mean, you could technically fly it in GTA 3, but not really at the same time. Alright, come on. And we have lift off. Okay, oh, we're not really climbing very high here, are we? It's a bit of a heavy plane. 
Alright, oh, oh my goodness, this is a... Okay. Going up and going to the side is not great. Okay, oh, oh my god, this is a heavy plane. <laughs> this is a heavy plane. Oh my word. I hope I don't crash. I really hope we can do this because this. Whew, it's actually taking effort out of me, and I'm not even flying the thing. Well, I am, but not in the game. Okay. Alright. Oh, oh, don't do it too far. Alright, so as you can see, we've got skimmer fuel on the side there, so we can't mess about too much. So we just gotta kinda get in the swing of things, do it efficiently and quickly. Okay. So take it, we start these things, that these are like checkpoints for starting the drops, and then it ends the drops when you hit like the brown checkpoint or the reddish one. Whatever. Okay. Where's this next one at? This is incredibly nerve wracking. <laughs> My word. Alright, come on. Alright. Do a complete turn, just do it in taps rather than just pull the whole thing to the side. That wouldn't be a good idea. Uh, I don't know if this is. I know one of them cuts between a building, and you're going to need to be lined up for that, or else we'll end up crashing. Uh, oh no, it's not this one, never mind. Okay. I think it's this one. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, give that another, <laughs> another shot. That could have gone a lot worse. Right, so I was right, it was Prawn Island where that one was. So if that one's Staff Island. A process of elimination. Oh, oh. Okay, that, yes, this is the one between buildings. So I want to get a angle here. Where I can actually cut between said buildings. Okay. That should suffice. There we go. Job is a good one. One more to go. I think this one isn't so bad, except for the fact that it's in an area with lots of buildings now, so I'm just going to want to be careful not to hit anything, but I think we've just about got it in the bag. There we go. First time. Awesome. <sighs> right, I'm getting rid of this bastard. I don't want you anymore. Thank you and good night. <laughs> All right, let's fire up mission number three, which is Martha's Mugshot. Okay, what's the problem now? Shh. Well, after his close encounter with the Nympho invaders, our hero finds himself unable to think of anything but this huge phallic mountain. And that's when I want to do the scene with the vat of mashed potatoes, but then Don't we... Don't give uh... a crap about that! J hmm? Just keep going, keep going. You mentioned something about some legal problem oh, on the yeah. phone. Congressman Alex Shrub has jumped on the pre-election bandwagon. He's going after the Puritan vote. Rumors are he's going to support measures to restrict, shall we say, the yeah. more fleshy oh, aspects yeah. of this nation's mm -hmm. great entertainment oh, yeah. industry. Okay, all right. Okay. Candy, okay, you know, Shrub. Okay, you guys get up to anything Bob. kinky? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. All right, then. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Candy. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 Got that. Was that part of the, uh, or was she talking to? Hey, I can never tell. Anyway, you're probably best following her after the shoot. See if she'll lead you to their new love nest. You got a camera? Yeah, get him a camera. All right, well, I hope for your guys' sake that, um, you either wore headphones there or you live alone. 
<laughs> so I probably might actually end up putting like a headphone warning in or something. Well, not a headphone warning, headphone like bit of advice. But yeah, so. Okay, so you want to take this and uh, follow Candy as she gets into the stretch, which is the limo. So um, I know this is sort of like a sort of like a tailing, but it's not really. It's not like fear of detection. It's just following the limo, and uh, so obviously trying to keep this episode quite shortish. So I will see you guys once we have successfully followed her. So we need to get to a good spot where we can take pictures. Um, so just get it from here. Yeah, you you can do that if you want to, but um, honestly, if you just come across here, um, how do you zoom in? Uh, there we go. Just snap three quick photos. What the hell, that was... Martha, someone's watching. How kinky. Alright, and obviously you go straight from zero to five stars, because apparently that is such a heinous crime. <laughs> but that's fine. We're in a heli, so... It's only really... Um, ground forces that are gonna... be some sort of... hassle, really. So we're only going to have heli problems, but if we keep moving, we shouldn't have problems. Well, we shouldn't really have any problems, but we'll have to see, won't we? Yeah, they've got police boats and everything. Just over some stupid pictures. Oh, man and ship. Man and ship. <laughs> Alright, well it doesn't matter, because we are done. <laughs> that was close. That was actually closer than I thought. I didn't think it would have blown up, but so it did, but it doesn't matter. Alright, and obviously we are about to fire up the final mission, which is G Spotlight. I'm sorry, but I just can't swallow oh, this right on, now. Darling, he's hung like a sperm whale for pity's sake. How can you not feel the part? But Stevie. How's my star director? Oh man, the struggle between mm. the artistic integrity and the humping, pumping action continues unabated. Mm. And before you ask, <laughs> yes, all four videos will be released mm. by their... Honey, can you please keep the Andacon in the shot? He costs more per hour than you do. Oh, sorry, Steve. I was thinking, we need some kind of big stunt to really promote the launch. Mm. Something that will make a real impact on this city. You got any ideas? Well, in the old days, they used to have gala events, stars, limos, the night sky crisscross with searchlights. Searchlights. I got an idea. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, little sequin numbers and the limos. Uh, oh, mm. premieres. Oh, yes, oh. ma'am. Of course, yeah. ma'am. And the mm. press and the barrage of lights. All right. Go downtown and adjust the spotlight on top of the building. So yeah, this one actually has us um, jumping across the buildings of Vice City West. And three of which, I think it's three, or it might be, well, yeah, I think it's three, um, count for the last stun jumps on that island. So, you, of course, you need to make sure that, um, that that's why we haven't finished it yet. It's this mission that we needed to do. Um, I don't believe any, there's anything too difficult though, so... Should be terrible. It says we'll lead round to a lower office. Okay. That's fine. I think this is the area next to... yeah, this is next to the police station. Whoa! Careful. Because we got a hidden package here a couple of... well, a little bit of a while ago. Oh, yeah, not really that long ago, but like three or four episodes ago, maybe. Alright. <laughs> hey guys, don't mind me. 
So... <laughs> okay, nice. I said that Rockstar and too mature that they can't just insert a little fart joke. <laughs> Alright. Fine. So that's the, obviously this is the only mission where we can actually come up here. Smash through the window to start the course. You have until 7 o'clock before it starts to get too light to get up there on the scene. Pickups will show you which from which building to jump to next. Alright, so as you can see we've got plenty of time. And there's a stunt jump number one. Cool. Right, okay, so the next one is down here. Right, we can make that. Come on, no, son of a bitch. Damn it. Alright, whoa. Suffering, Jesus. Alright. Alrighty, ready, ready. Uh. That was bloody close. Alright, come on. Come on. Get up. Get up. Alright. No. What are we doing? Holy. Okay, landed on that roof without falling through into the middle. That's a good start. Come on, come on. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Thank God. I might have just cried, because I've had enough. <laughs> I've just had enough. Alright. Let's get a bit of a run up here. I don't want to risk losing this. Okay. <laughs> nice. Alright. Since the ladder, if you need to access the rooftops again. That's excellent. Alright. If we'd have had to redo that whole thing, that would have been the most emotional thing ever. Alright. Oh. Curse just, just wanted to test me, didn't you? Just wanted to test me. is of the essence. This is very much of the essence. Can we do it? Can we do it? Yes. Oh my word. Okay. Nice. Okay, but there's the flashlight.
Alright, there we go. That's all the film studio missions done. Into global films and I generate revenue up to a maximum of $7,000. Make sure you collect it regularly. So you've got to actually go to them to pick up the money. Um, if you're desperate for it, but I don't think we'll actually be that bad. Okay, wow, that mission. Whew. Okay, so looking at stun jumps. Do we get all 34 to 36? Um, so where's that last one then? Which is the... Tommy, Paolo here, to pass for Mako. What do you want, Paul? I don't want any fake label clothes. Very funny, mate, but you know I don't touch bank gear. No, I was just calling to see if I could get a part in one of your movies. Back in England, I did a lot of blue stuff, mate. I'm packing more weight than you, my son. Paul, thanks for the offer. I'll bear that in mind. Seriously, don't forget about me. I feel I've done for you. That's what I'm trying to forget about. Okay. I'm gonna go hunt for that stun jump we apparently missed. There was that secret bloody stun drum that we never got for some reason. Alright, let's get the last one. Alright guys, here we are. So um, this is where we are on the map, I should probably add. Just on the alleyway that's to the east of um, the studio. I'm going to pop over this one, and onto this one, like so. Um, it's a bit of a um, longer stun jump. we got to cross quite a few rooftops before you reach it, but it'll be worth it because it'll be the last one. Hit this one, land in the studio, come on, did we do it? We did it. And there we go, we did all the sun jumps, we got Daredevil, we got everything. Everything is good, everything is good. <laughs> yeah, what I said there, I was going to say everything is great and then I don't even know. Alright, but there we go, that is all the sun jumps done. And all of the movie studio are done. We'll never need to return to that. And I'm happy for it. I mean, the missions themselves weren't actually that bad. Um, but those stun jumps... They're behind us now. We've done all that. The literal only sort of collectible we have left is that one last store robbery. That's it. So, very good. Alright, let's put you in here. You've actually proved to be quite useful. So let's just um, go up and grab our stash. So we've fully stuck with that, yes. All this jargon. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Okay, uh, so let's save our game. Of uh, G Spotlight, it's the one we just did. Alright, awesome. Let's have a look at our percentage. So last time we were on 50 something, I think it was like 57%. And today we are on. 63% so not so bad I've had a nice little bump up look at that where is it where's it gone 36 out to 36 <laughs> thank god <laughs> alright um, of course that is where we're going to end it for today in the next episode we will be uh, working on another little side job that's opened up for us called chopper missions so we'll do all them work for our next property which I think is the Malibu Club and yeah, see what goes from there. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, press the like, comment, and subscribe. And also be sure to share the video. I'll see you guys next episode 18. Everything Bye, changes. Guys.